How you ask? How you ask? Oh, I'll tell you how. I'll tell you what the what the greatest book of all time had to say about it in two verses out of many, many, how to elevate in your relationships and your, your money. Genesis 12, verse 1 to 2. Now the Lord said unto Abraham, get thee out. What? Get out. Of what? Your country, your kindred, from your father's house unto a land I will show you. And I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee and make your name great. And you're going to be a blessing. What did God tell Abraham? Get out. A lot of you are not getting out of the land of familiar. You're not getting out of the land of... We've all grown up in cultures and societies with, with distinct information being transmitted to us. Our posse, our friends, our parents, our siblings, the music we listen to, the movies we watch, it's all these things, the lingo of the, of, the, of the community, the way we do things, the way we choose a girl to date or a, a guy to date, the way we handle our money, the way, the way we handle our friendships, the people that we choose. We learn these things from the, our surroundings, our, the people, the, the information that comes to our brain every day. But the problem is we don't want to leave that. Uh oh, We don't want to leave that. We get comfortable and cozy and this is the way I've always been. And, uh, but a lot, a lot of people don't even think about challenging the status quo of what we grew up being exposed to. But what did God say? Get out from the kindred. Get out from your country. Get out of your, 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 your father's house. Oh, some of you are still... Still in your daddy's house, mama's house, or or, or still um, holding on to what they taught you. Uh oh, and I'm not saying that all they taught you was bad, but there are many things that our parents did not teach us. I I grew up and all I about money. All I heard learned, learned about my money growing up was just put in the bank. Oh, we, we, we want to find somebody to marry. Make sure that person is the highlight reel is just make sure she's got a great job. I'm not saying that's bad. But there are other factors to involve in a healthy marriage. Because we know a whole lot of people who have celebrities and entertainers divorce how many times? Right? So that's not the, not the only thing to look, look for, to think about. Right? So leave that territory where, to the land I am showing you. And I'll make you a great nation. I'm, I'm going to bless you. And, I'll be, and you will be a blessing. I want to have a great, I want to have great relationships Platonic, romantic. I want to have a great one, and that people actually look at me and say, "Whoa, what did you do to get that? What did you do to have that?" I see how you. I see how you. How you operating, and I see how you have healthy friendships. You have you have healthy marriage. And what? Do you, wow! How did you actually do that? You realize that the people who are the, the people that are being blessed financially, they can give, actually give a lot to people. They can give a lot to people who are homeless. They, they're starting the businesses. They're giving a whole bunch of money to, to shelters and. Um, they're starting orphanages. They're they, they're giving a lot of money to people who are overseas. They are funding projects that uh, people who are broke cannot do. If you're great, you can be a blessing to other people. But if you don't have it, how can you give it? You can't you you can't you can't give what you don't have. There are a lot of things that that people want to help people out with, but because they don't have the resources, the capital, they can't do it. A lot of us, a lot of us can't even build, can't even give a a, a family a. a Dinner for the night. Uh oh, you you struggling you struggling yourself. You can't even do that. Give family a, a particular uh, dinner for the night. Take them out for the for 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 the night. That means you're really doing horrible financially. And I'm not knocking you down. But I'm saying wow, wow, cause you're barely making it yourself. But I say I can actually go to a family of five right now and, and buy them all a uh, uh, dinner for, dinner for the night or dinner for the weekend or even that. Oh, even that. Even one, once, once every two weeks, like, come on, even, even start, start with that, that, that'd be incredible. And, it's, and, and to do that, you need information. How do I get more? How do I handle money? How do I, how do I get more of it? I got to learn from those who have a lot of it rather than those who don't, who barely have it. How do I have healthy relationships? I got to know how to better discern the counterfeit from the genuine. I got to know that people are really healthy for me. I got to understand that's not okay to, to some of you think it's okay to, to curse, to, to always be angry, 
to always go after the girls with, with, the, with the nice bodies, but to overlook their personality traits, to overlook their other toxic ways. To, oh, come on, come on. Come on. Stop overlooking that impatience. Stop overlooking that, that narcissism. Stop over, overlooking the fact that, that he, he lied to you. And, oh, I'm sorry. Is it changing? Change behavior. I'll take that over an apology any day. Change behavior over an apology any day. I, I, I'll, I'll tell somebody that's that's one time, but it's not gonna happen again. If it happens again, that's it. Cutting cutting off. Come on. But often we 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 just tolerate these things and say, well, it's the way it is. No, no, get out of that. Get out. You want to be great? Get out. Of what you're being, you're always familiar with. Sometimes you you got, you got to really think about: Am I am I watching? Is what I've been watching? I used to watch a whole bunch of like, let's say hip hop videos, <laughs> familiar territory. What did it show me? Oh, the, the the woman, the money, and all these things. And but but the idea of it that's put into your mind isn't healthy. That life is just about getting money. Life is just about chasing after women. But to have the right perspective about that, that, wow. So what if the money, what if God forbid I lose that money? What if God forbid the woman does, don't want me? That means I may, I'm, that means I'm not, probably not going to be happy with myself. I'm, I'm going to be depressed. I got to realize that, that, that what, what woman, what, what woman, are, but they, they, look, yeah, they look good, but are they, they, they're not perfect though. They make mistakes though. They can lie on me though. They, 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 there's a possibility that someone could cheat on me, right? And what do I do then? Because a lot of people, they have the, 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 all the joy, happiness tied to woman, to money, and if they don't have it, the way hip hop portrays it, they're not fulfilled. Uh oh, they're not fulfilled. And it feels to, to look at money as just a resource rather than something to just. That's my main goal, just to get go, go the money. Now I'm talking about money, but I'm, not, I'm saying it's a tool. That's all it is. Have the right perspective. And with women, we look at them. I used to look at them at whoa, just girls. I just want to. Have sex with her, sex with her, sex with her. Look at them as the sexual objects. And that's somebody's mother. That's somebody's sister. That's somebody's daughter. That 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 person could be you. That that, that woman that woman could be you. Uh oh. And typically, typically, women don't want to be looked at as sex objects. They they do it for money, for attention. But typically, they they want to be respected. They want to be cherished. They want to be honored. But the way but the way culture has formed their mind, this this how women should be like and. And looked at. That's how they portray themselves. Because that's the way culture expects them to look. And you know. To be just lusted after. Rather than respected and cherished. For just more than my, more than her body. And that's the way that hip hop videos have programmed my mind. But I said. I gotta get out of that familiar territory. And look at some healthier content. My music. Just lace with just. Just chasing after girls. Money, money, money. And. F you and F that, F the police and all these things, gangster rap music. It just was just tainting my mind. I had to get my mind out of that familiar territory into a land where God can bless me and, and, and elevate me. So you need to challenge, challenge your community, what's going on in the community, challenge what you're looking at, challenge what you're listening to, challenge how you view relationships, challenge it. Hallelujah. Because when you do things God's way, when you, when you have God's perspective on money, relationships, you're going to have a much greater peace. You're going to have joy. You're going to be fulfilled. You're going to. You can make better choices with those things and you can have peace. Hallelujah. Because you have the right application of knowledge because you came, you came out of the land of the familiar and went to the land of the unfamiliar where the greatness is at. All right. God bless you. I love you. Bless you. I pray Lord keep you and get better every day. Get out of the land of the familiar. Alter your horizons. Alter what you're looking at. Alter what you're listening to. Don't remain the same. Grow, stretch, advance. All right? God bless you. Hallelujah.